Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing one of my favorite videos in the entire world. We are doing a Walt Disney World haul. <laughs> so this is from my trip that I just got back from a couple weeks ago in June, the first week of June, um, with one of my really good friends, Bailey, and I spared no expense. Actually, I came back with money. I was shook that I came back with money. And the only reason I did is because Disney was sold out of some of the things that I wanted. And then when I was looking for other things that I might want, I just was not into it. You know, like I just wasn't feeling some of the things that they had. So I actually came back with money, which I would not have if they were not sold out. So without further ado, we're gonna jump right into this haul. Okay, first things first, these ears. I love these ears, and I actually did not buy these. Um, somebody that I booked a Disney trip for bought these for me because she knew I was going to Disney shortly after her, um, and so she bought these for me for booking her trip and making some special things happen for their family. So super cute, super cool. These ears in the park are around $25. Not cheap for a pair of ears, but I love them. I wore them around the park, and I'm gonna wear them for the remainder of this video. When I said I spared no expense, I spared no expense. Like, this bag is huge. I had like eight bags, but I fit all of the stuff mainly into this bag. I got some more stuff back here that I'm gonna show you, but a lot of it fit in this big bag. So let's just dive right into this bag. So Disney was having this deal on socks um, that if you buy two, you get them both for $10. And I think they're originally, yeah, they're about $14 a piece. So I was like, you know, what the heck? So I got these super cute alien socks. Again, $14 a piece, but I got them 10 a piece because I bought two pairs. Um, I got these alien socks because Toy Story is coming out very soon. Like, oh my gosh, like super soon, like in the next week. Crazy. So yes, Toy Story Land's coming out. So I bought these really cute alien socks. And I also bought these cute Chip and Dale socks, which I later realized they're both Chip. What is this? I didn't know if this was like a malfunction or if they were both supposed to be Chip. But why would I get two chips? Where's Dale? I don't know. It makes me really sad. My mom was like, doesn't Dale have a red nose? And I was like, yeah. I got two chips. What is that? Anyways, still stinking cute. Chip's adorable, so I'm not going to complain too much, but still, I thought it was super weird. Next thing I bought was the mandatory rose gold ears. I, I knew I was going to get these. <laughs> I have the rose gold spirit jersey, and... I just knew this was gonna happen. I'm gonna wear these eventually with my rose gold spirit jersey. So I bought them and they are, yeah, I think they're around $25. Um, doesn't say on here, it just says adult, but yeah, I think all the Disney ears are around $25. So got these babies. This is actually not from the Disney parks. <laughs> this is from Walmart, but when I saw it, I was like, I mean, Disney has one of these. It's a fanny pack. And this was $6 and the one at Disney is almost 40, so. Who got the better deal here um it's super cute got classic mickey on it got his little signature and i wore this sucker around proudly throughout our trip and it served its purpose the next thing i bought i was super excited because i have planned for this i am obsessed obsessed with the new disney line the like um travel line stamp what is it what is it called like passport the passport line i'm obsessed with it it's so so good so I bought these. This was $10, and it is just a bunch of little stickers that looks like passport stickers. I'm going to put some of these on my luggage, so I thought that would be super cute. Just like all of the different kingdoms or worlds or whatever, probably like the main ones. Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, those. Um, but yeah, they've got 50 stickers, so I'm going to be able to stick these anywhere. And the packaging is so cute. It just looks like a little suitcase. And like I said, it was $10 and I'm super excited about this. You guys, so Disney Springs came out with that new um, store. The, I think it's called Disney Style and it's got a lot of cute stuff. It's got a lot of Daniel Cole stuff. It's got some just unique clothing items. And when I saw someone vlog this, I was like immediately screenshotted the vlog wrote down the price and saved up specifically for this sweatshirt. It's not even a sweatshirt. It's just like a, a really light long sleeve tee. And it is the Jungle Cruise t-shirt. It says, uh, if you don't believe me, then you're in denial. I mean, you guys, for real. And it's super thin, which I really like. 
um, and it's hooded. It's got a hood. Super, super cute. And it's got a little pocket down here, which is really great. I love this, and I cannot wait to wear it. And this was $40. So I'm stoked about this. Your girl's gonna wear this. So this next thing I actually bought at the Character Warehouse, which if you guys don't know about the Character Warehouse, you need to learn about it real quick. Um, there are two. There's one on Vineland Avenue and there's one on International Drive. And what it is is basically overstock or things that they're not going to sell anymore or things that they're trying to sell from Disney. They just mark it down really cheap um, and sell it in these stores so they can get it out of stock. And so I went there. And I got the Starbucks 45th anniversary mug. I don't have any 45th merch, which is really sad because I was there during the 45th anniversary. Um, so I got the Starbucks mug. And all of their mugs there are $5. Come on. So, whoo! Oh my gosh, I almost dropped it. This is what it looks like. It's just super cute, a classic. It's got the Starbucks logo on the back. And it's just got Magic Kingdom 45th in the castle and some fireworks. Adorable. And the packaging super cute. And it was cheap. Spend that money, honey. Disney is not cheap. This next item was like the item. The main item I wanted. I was like, getting this. Nothing's going to stop me. It's happening. And it happened. <laughs> you know? Um, Bailey and I actually both wanted it. So we both got it. And crazy story, you guys. So when we went in all of the stores, we went in every store looking for this stinking item. Nobody had it. Like, I asked the cast member, she's like, no, it's sold out literally everywhere. There's nowhere that has it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is devastating because this is what we wanted. And she was like, you know what, just hold on. This was in Hollywood Studios, and I don't remember what store. But um, it was at just one of the stores. And she's like, well, just hold on one second. Let me go to the back. What size do you need? And I was like, a large. Both me and Bailey just want a large. Um, no, I asked first for me. And I want large because I really like, like, baggy if it's comfy clothes, I want it baggy. Um, so she went to the back and she came out with it. She's like, we only have larges back there. I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. And I was like, Bailey, do you want this sweatshirt? She's like, yes. So the lady went to the back and brought another one out. And this was like literally nowhere else in the entire land of Walt Disney World. They did not have this. So we got the infamous Disney passport collection sweatshirt yay i'm so excited it's got every like all the icons from each park down the sleeve it's got this retro looking walt disney world logo and on the back it's got the passport official mickey mouse with the little compass so stinking cute and we got so lucky so lucky and this was around 50 50 dollars for this not complaining. So I was not actually planning on getting on, getting this, but you know how I said I had money left over um, and I didn't find anything that I really wanted. But when I was in our gift shop, we stayed at the um, All Star Music Resort. When I was in our gift shop, I looked at this for so long. I was like, you know what? That's just like, it's not something I would typically wear, but that just looks so cute. And you guys, I've literally worn it every day since I've gotten back. That's kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> but like when I get home from work and I just look want to get comfy I throw this on and I've just worn it and it's so comfortable and I've grown to love it and you can definitely tell it's been worn I haven't washed it yet um because there is like dog hair all over it <laughs> but it's got it's this 2018 Walt Disney World sweatshirt it's got Epcot Magic Kingdom and um Animal Kingdom, wow, and then I don't know if this is supposed to be Hollywood Studios. I don't really see anything Hollywood Studios except for the sleeve. The sleeve is dope. <laughs> it's so cool. It's got um, the Tree of Life. It's got the Small World icon. It's got the Epcot ball. It's got the teacups. It's got the entrance little pillar thing from Hollywood Studios, and then it's got Space Mountain on the sleeve, which is really, really cool. Then there's nothing on the back, but... I am actually obsessed with this, and I'm so glad I got it. And I would say that this was around, um, I think it was around $45, 40 to $45 for this one. There's another thing that I really wanted, but they didn't have. Yay! <laughs> um, I really wanted, I'm, I'm like a spirit jersey girl now. I've got the navy one, which by the way, the navy one is in the character warehouse, you guys. For like 20 bucks. 
There's 60 in the park. Go get it if it's still there. Anyway, so I've got the navy one, which I bought full price at the park like years ago. Then I got the rose gold one. And I wanted the teal one. They didn't have it. So I settled for the lavender one, which also I think will go really good with my skin tone. So I'm cool with it. I've got the lavender one. It's got, the, you know, the logo on the front and then the, the Walt Disney World across the back. You know what it is. You've seen this probably like a thousand times. And like I said, they're around $60. Super comfortable. Love them. And I'm happy with it. So the next little fun thing that I got, <laughs> there was also another, there was another ornament that I really wanted to get. Um, I wanted to get both of them, but they did not have the other one. So I'm glad I ended up getting this one. Um, this was one of the ones that I originally wanted. This was $25 and my little nuggets are on it. <laughs> you probably know what I'm talking about if you've been watching the vlogs. Um, well, maybe not because you're probably not that far along in my vlogs, but I'm obsessed with Chippendale and I call them my little nuggets. But the, it's the um, 2018 ears, Mickey Mouse ears. Um, and then it's got Chip and Dale in here being mischievous and doing whatever they do. <laughs> and on the back, it's got their signatures and Walt Disney World across it. So super cute. Love it. I always get an ornament. So I'm really, really happy with this. And like I said, $25 for these little cuties. The next item I got, I got before our trip from the Disney World site, um, the Shop Disney app, which, by the way, you guys, they have some really good sales on there sometimes. And you know, Danielle Nicole is not cheap, girl, but she has these little, like, purse slash wallet. Like, it's, it's really a wallet, but it's got a strap so you can wear it like a purse. And they had Cinderella and they had Tinkerbell, and it was normally expensive, <laughs> but I got this little cute baby for $14.00. So cute. Tinkerbell is my fave. Um, so yeah, it's got this strap and I got it for $14 and it's got my, my little camera thing cleaner on it. Um, and it's, yeah, it's super cute. You open it up and it's got card holders. It's got your money holder. It's got a place that I had my phone the whole trip. And then that's it. That's all I needed in my life. And I carried my camera around my, my neck. And uh, the cute idea that I had the very last day that we went was... I got Peter Pan and Tinkerbell to sign it, which was really, really fun. Peter's right here. Tinkerbell's right here. Super fun. Not very expensive at all. $14 for a Danielle Nicole bag. And it's got Peter and Tink's signature on it. I'm super excited about this. And I guess I'm like trying to become like an art connoisseur or something because I bought three pieces of art this trip. I never buy art, like ever. So this was interesting. Um, and I'll tell you the reason why I bought art <laughs> this trip. Um, the first piece of art was I, I knew I kind of wanted, I have a space that needs some art, which I'm moving pretty soon, so <laughs> I guess it's unnecessary now. But um, I told you recently that Chip and Dale are my, my dudes, my little nugs. Um, and so we were in the um, Art of Disney or the something art and it was in Epcot it's the shop in Epcot before you actually get into the park fully I think it's art of Disney um and Bailey saw this and she's like Caitlin you need this and I was like I absolutely agree with you <laughs> and this little guy was $40 it's called two chips why I don't know because it's Jim and Dale but it's got my guys on it and they're just being super cute, shaking hands up in the trees. It's green. It's beautiful. Chip's here. Dale's here. And they're just fresh. And it's big, man. Like, this is pretty big. This is what it looks like. They're so cute. And it tells about, um, the Al it's Alex Mayer, who's the artist. And it's got his little description on the back here, which is super cool. So all I need to do now is frame this baby and put it up. Sorry guys, my camera died, so I really don't remember where I was, so I'm gonna backtrack it. Okay, so anyways, these next two pieces of art are probably not pieces of art that I would have just like automatically thought of and bought, um, but because the artist was actually there signing the art pieces, I was like, okay, I have to, like I just have to. And I, I honestly do love his work. I actually bought a piece of his work for my brother a couple Christmases ago, and it was the Epcot ball at nighttime with illuminations happening. Um, so it's Larry Dotson. And I actually bought two pieces of art. The first one is the Cinderella's Castle with Tinkerbell above it. I love it. It's got the statue right here. And it's uh, called Cinderella's Castle. And he said, where dreams come true, best wishes Caitlin, Larry Dotson. And then he signed and dated it. 
So this is what it looks like. Super, super pretty. And it's actually called Vacation Memories. That's the, the official name. And it's got his information down here. And then I also bought this one because this is my favorite ride ever. And it is Expedition Everest. Um, and then it's got the whole, like, Asia feel. And he also just said best wishes. So that is what this looks like. Oh, it's so beautiful. And it's Vacation Memories. I guess that's the line. Vacation Memories. So, yeah, really cool. These next few are Christmas gifts for my family. So, family, if you're watching, like, I can't tell you not to, but you're just going to know what you're getting for Christmas. So, sorry about it. The first one, my sister collects these kinds of mugs. They are called relief mugs. Um, and it, they're all the different princesses. And this one I found at the Character Warehouse for $5. These are normally $25, so... And it is Elsa. It's super pretty. It's got her braid and it's got like little snowflake details along the braid. And the, I just think this mug is just gorgeous. Like that's so pretty. And then it's got her signature on the inside. Super cool. Cheap Christmas present. But also like it's the official mug. Also when Brooke and I went on our trip last year. She fell in love with the ride um, Flight of Passage. And she was really sad because she didn't get anything to commemorate that. So, also in the character warehouse, I found a $32 shirt, <laughs> um, long sleeved, really super soft, Flight of Passage Banshee shirt for $9, people, $9. And it's really, really pretty. It's a very flowy, great material, and it's just got a banshee on it. It's kind of beaded. Um, but I just thought it was so cute, and it's long sleeved, very flowy, very her style. She likes the flowy, you know? I like the flowy. So, super cute. Got it for $9. It was originally $33, so, perf. These last two items. Oh, actually, I did get my mom a shoe ornament because she collects those, but I already gave it to her because I'm a softie. <laughs> um, and this, I'll just pop a little picture right here. Whoop, there it is. It's Mary Poppins. So cute. She loved it. Um, these next, these last two items are for my brother for Christmas. He doesn't watch my videos, I don't think, so... He shouldn't see these, <laughs> but um, I got him this little postcard that I'm going to frame, and it is Figment over Epcot, which he really, really loves Figment, and there's a rumor that Figment is leaving, so I, I had to get him some Figment. So I got him this postcard that I'm going to frame. It was $5, and it's just got Figment and Illuminations and the Epcot, all of Chase's favorites, just wrapped up into one awesome little painting by uh, Joey Chow, and it's just called Figment. I thought this was so cool. Oh, it's got the monorails too, and the countries, and Tinkerbell. Dang, this is a nice little photo. And the last item that I have to show you guys is this figment ornament. Like I said, for Christmas, Chase, won all he really asked for was figment because he's gonna be gone soon. So this ornament was $20, and I found it in the figment gift shop outside of his, outside, outside of his ride. And it's the flower and garden figment, um, which is just kind of special, you know? So it's just got figment. Let me see if I can, he's not focusing very well. Let's, let's try this. Okay. So yeah, there's Figment. Super cute. He's holding little butterflies. And then on his butt, <laughs> it says Epcot Flower and Garden Festival. Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. So yeah, super cute. Got a little caterpillar and a butterfly and just Figment. And I think he'll really, really enjoy it because then he'll have a little bit of Figment in his life when Figment leaves. Super sad. Anyways, you guys, that is it for my Walt Disney World haul. I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed and I hope you got some ideas for what you might want to pick up and you might want to do it pretty soon because Disney is having some trouble keeping the high wanted, high desired products in stock. Um, so yeah, that is all I've got for you today. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you liked the video and you want to see more videos like this, including my vlogs, which are coming out right now as we speak of this last trip, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and you will get to be a part of all of the funness. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next one. Have a magical rest of your day. Bye!